you just said he's a man of color, but he don't have an image. What color does not be involved with the image? What image does not have color? No, 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 no. What image does not have color? You see that? You see that? You've been brainwashed. Did y'all already go to Revelation with him yet? Uh, all right, go to Revelation chapter one. Hey, let me ask you, brothers. Y'all that's about. Hey, what color is Christ? Huh? Black. What color is Christ, my man, right here in the red? Okay, you learn it. What color is Christ, my man? Hey, what color is Christ? Black. Black. Okay. My man, what color is Christ? Black. Now, what color is Christ? So I'm gonna go back. Oh, you see that? problem with Jesus Christ coming back to save his own people is the same guy that can't admit that Jesus is a black man. That's right. Now, we're going to show you what the Bible says. Let God be true in every man. What? A liar. A liar. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So, he had hair. He wasn't just a man of color. He had a body and he had hair. Right, right. Now, what color was his hair? As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. So he had white, woolly hair. Who has woolly hair, brothers? Uh, Who got woolly hair on the earth? My man right here, he's an aged man. His hair is white. You see that? Hey, your man right here that you wanted to point to, does he have woolly hair? I'm telling you, I don't want to point to him. Huh? I'm telling you, I don't want to point You don't to want to, but you do, consciously. In the spirit, you point to him. Not, not. Yeah, you? So, doesn't you? Huh? I'm not pointing to nobody. That's, what I'm That's the problem. If you stand for nothing, so, so. you fall for anything. Uh, so, uh, you you would let white man Jesus come into your heart. What? That's what you're telling me. Now, yes, you would. Is he black or not? I already told you, he's a man of color. Ah, what? here we go with this man of what? color. We're going to show you what color. Hold on. He was Arab then. Yeah. You think he was an Arab? You think he was Chinese, don't you? What color was it? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, hold on, hold on. And his feet uh -huh. like a to fine brass. All right, here we go. Now we go. Hold on, because you said a man of color. We're going to show you what color. What color is brass, brothers? Brass. Brass. Anybody? Brown? Good. What co Brown? You agree? You agree, my man in the green? Is brass brown? Yes, my Okay. Read. And his feet uh -huh. like a to fine brass. Read. As if. They burn, as if what? they burn, uh -huh. and they furnace. Now if you burn brass, what color is it going to turn? Huh? No. What? If you burn brass, black. If you burn brass, what color? Burn brass. So if he's a man of color, what color on the spectrum is it? Huh? I'm with you, black. I'm with you. Say it, say it so everybody can hear you. So you're saying Chinese people are not part of the... No. No, they are not 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Oh, but they got melon too? Probably. Yeah, we just showing you what color Christ was. We didn't say what nation. Color doesn't make you a, 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 a Israelite. The color does not make you an Israelite. Understand that. Look, in the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, we have Hispanics. We have brothers that are very light to brothers that are very dark. The color, he told you that already when he talked about the Egyptians. The Egyptians are black just like us. Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. Right. Right. Why? Because he was dark skinned. But they understood the difference between being an Israelite and an Egyptian. You understand that? Now, I went there to prove to you the color of Christ, right? Now, what you said earlier, I got to make sure, go to 1 John 4 and 1. What you said is a popular doctrine that a lot of our people struggle with. They say that Jesus Christ does not have a body. They say that he's a, he, he's a, uh, he's a spirit. Right? I didn't say that. No, I know. I didn't say that. I know, but that's where it comes from. There's a lot of people that, that teach that. So not only for you, but for others. I want y'all to understand you have to confess that he came in the physical flesh of a black man. If you don't, I'm gonna show you what God calls you. Read that. First John chapter four and verse one. Uh-huh. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Do what? Believe not every spirit, Read. but try the spirit. What does the Bible say, dude? Try the spirit. That's what we're doing with all of you men right now. We're trying y'all spirits. Read. Whether they are of God, uh -huh. because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Many false prophets have gone out into the world. And I'm going to show y'all when y'all leave here, how you can tell if somebody's a false prophet or not. Read. Here, hereby know ye the uh -huh. spirit of God. Read. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ 
is come in the flesh. If they say that he came in the flesh, yeah. read, is of God. He is of God. Yeah. If anybody tell you he don't have a color, he don't have a flesh, they not of God. Right. Read, and every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. If they say Jesus don't have color, they say he don't come in the flesh, what? Is not of God. He is what? Not of God. He is not of God. Y'all understand that? Right. Right. That's why it's not a carnal belief to make you point to which one is Jesus Christ. Right. Right. Christ said through the spirit of John, if you don't confess that he came in the flesh, you are not of God and you are a liar. Because right. 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 guess what? With this image, they have destroyed our people. Right. Right. In two days, we're going to celebrate the destruction of our own people on out. July 4th. Right. Right. We're going to shoot fireworks in the air and say, God America. Meanwhile, in 1776, what were we at, brother? It was, uh, slave. We were oh. enslaved. We were enslaved. But we are going to spend millions, if not billions of dollars, to celebrate the, 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 the uh, birthplace of this nation. Right. Which God calls this place what? This is our captivity. Right. And we're proud to be an American. Can you, can you imagine the so-called Jewish man being in Germany? And on March 15th, celebrating Germany uh, uh, independence. Can you imagine that? Can you? No. Why are we the, oh, we're the only people still celebrating and living in the place of our captivity? Yep. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Bring it out. How is it? How is it that we're still here in America and proud to be an American? You get what I'm saying, right? Okay. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, Shalom, Shalom. What's your name, bro? Emilio. Emilio. Okay, all praise. Emilio, check this out. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day in our yeah. captivity. Hold on, what did God say? Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Because a lot of y'all think we free. Because what did y'all celebrate last month? On the 19th. The Juneteenth. Month. You say God gave us Juneteenth. We free, master. Oh, yeah? What land is yours? Is this our land? Where is you this your land, brother? Well, I got some land. Is this your land? Yes, you say no. it is your land. No, not my land. Uh, I, all of us. Man. Who is all of us? Sheesh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Now you're thinking, you're like, damn. So is this our land, brother? How were we brought here to America? Go to your left, Cap. How were we brought here to America? How were our forefathers and foremothers brought here? That's a question for you. No. Uh, Damn. It's history. Go ahead. It's you history. Can, what's history? Black history, Mom. Oh, how were we brought here? Huh? We gotta, we gotta That's a good question. I know it's a good question, but I want you to comprehend. Look at this sign. What is this picture of? What is this? What is this? You're you a wise brother. You go to Calvary Chapel. All right? It's a cartoon, Cap. What is this? Hey, brother. What is this? What are these images of? Slave ships. Slave ships. How were we brought here? How were we brought here, brother? Help him out, brother, in the green. How, how, how were we brought here? On what? Across the seas. Across the seas. On what? On, on slave vessels. On slave ships. That's right. We were brought here on slave ships. Put it down. So, since we've been brought here on slave ships, since the 1500s, have we went back as a nation? Have we went back? Brother, have we went back? No, we have not went back. Y'all agree? Y'all agree we have not went back, right? Give me Jeremiah 15, 33 real quick. So if we have not went back, where are we at today? What is this place called? What would this place be called if we have not went back to our land? Huh? The land of what? No, absolutely not. Let me ask you this. If the Jewish man went to Germany, would he call that his homeland? In Auschwitz, Germany, where the Holocaust went took place, would he say he's in his homeland? When he's there, no, he would not. He would say this is a land of captivity. Right. This is a land of oppression. This is a land where my people were terrorized. So what is America? This is the land of your captivity. Oh, you know what I'm that, but guess what? Y'all so blind to it, you don't even know. That's why God wrote it. Give me Baruch 3 and 8 real quick. Baruch 3 and 8 first. 
Huh? So you're saying we're in captivity right now? Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now you in captivity. But guess what? You don't believe it. So you don't believe it. Guess what? The Pharisees and the scribes didn't think we're, they were in captive either. But Christ had to open their eyes. Listen good to the scripture. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day. We are what? Yet this day. This day in 2023. We are yet this day what? In our captivity. In what? In our captivity. We are still in captivity. How do we know we're in captivity? Guess what? When you drive and you look behind you and you see those lights, what feeling do you come upon when you see a police officer driving? You feel good? You feel comfortable? No, how you feel? You make sure you got your license, your registration, make sure your tag light work, seat belt. Do you feel like that or you feel good? You might feel you might feel good when you see the police officer. Feel good. Yeah, feel do you feel good or do you feel a little worried? Yeah, you see the police officer behind you. Yeah, I mean, I make sure, you know, I don't want to tag or nothing. You're right. So you make sure you're on point, right? What about you? How you feel when the police officer get behind you? When I, um, you know, when you face the great word and not stay my parents no more, I start to feel like that after I feel normal okay. or less. You know, if I break the law, okay. I'm sometimes be nervous. How you, how you feel when the police get behind you? Uh, on the edge, a little bit of anxiety. Okay, a little, oh, say yeah. that word again. On the edge, a little bit of anxiety. 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 You worried. Why? How would, how, what would you feel like that in your homeland? When you get home, are you worried about anything when you home? You take off your bag, you got off work. When you at the house, your wife walking around, your kids playing, are you worried? You worried about anything? No. How come you don't feel like that when you leave those doors though? Bring it out. If this is your homeland. You get that? If this is your homeland, that's how you should feel everywhere. But that's not how we feel. Because this ain't your homeland. Right. That's right. This is the land of your captivity. That's right. That's right. When you leave those doors, you understand that, guess what? You are America's most wanted. Right. The black and brown man is a haunted man, a hunted man here in America. Right. right. And you know it. How do you know it? Because you walk a straight and narrow path. You make sure you don't do anything to draw attention to yourself. Right. right. Read that again. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, uh -huh. where thou hast scattered us. There we go, right there. How did we get here? We were what? Scattered to America. We were scattered to Cuba. We were scattered to Mexico. Right. We were scattered to Trinidad. Right. All throughout the four corners of the earth, we were scattered. Spain, Spain Brazil, Portugal, Colombia. Yep. We were scattered there. How, what was the method of transportation? Slave ships. What other people, what other people went through that? Now it's funny, she said we dwelling in the past. I guarantee you on July 4th, she's shooting fireworks. Right. right. And ain't nobody got a problem with the past when it's July 4th. Right. right. Nobody got a problem with the past when it's December 25th. Nobody got a problem with the past when it's Thanksgiving. Right. right. But when it's black people bringing out their true history, now we got a problem with the past. Right. When we show you what your forefather looked like, Jesus the Christ, then we got a problem with the past. When we celebrate Martin Luther King Day, we don't got a problem with the past. Right. But when you don't agree with the narrative that the white man taught you, now you don't want to go to the past. Right. But I'm going to show you what God said about the past. Go to Joe 8 8 real quick. Bring it out. I'm going to show you God said this is what he commanded each and every one of us to do when it comes to learning our history. It ain't just one month. And it ain't Juneteenth. It's every single day. That's, that's right. Read that. Joe, chapter 8. In verse 8, for inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. God says, inquire, I pray thee, of the what? Former age. The former age is what? What it used to be. Former is past. That is your past. He said, inquire about that thing. Learn about it. Read. And prepare thyself. Do what? Prepare thyself. Read. To the search of their father. To the what? To the search of their father. God says you should be searching and crying out for your history. That's right. Trying to figure out who your forefathers is. What color were they? Right. What did they eat? How did they dress? What customs did they keep? But guess what happened to us here in America? In America, all of that was taken from you. Right. All of that was taken from you and stripped, and it was replaced with what? White man Jesus. Come on. With false doctrine. That's 4th of July. The 4th of July. Right. 
That's what you were given in replace of that. And guess what? It didn't just happen to the black man. It happened to the Hispanic man too. Because whether you believe it or not, you are not Mexican. You are not Hispanic, meaning what? Property of Spain. You didn't speak Spanish. Spain is on the other side of the earth. Why is that the dominant language in Central and South America? I didn't even understand Spain was right next to Africa. I didn't know that. But guess what? They came over here and they taught it and now you lay hold to it. You think that you're special because you speak the white man language. Nation is men leading by example. Oh, you know